Good morning, Gloucester. Mrs. Travers here with her assistant, Hannah. And we are going to do, we're going to go over uh, from test number six, section three, which is the no calculator section, number 14. Now you should have your 2018 edition of your SAT book. So if you go to page 927, you can follow along with me. Here, and you can put the board right here. All right, so let's go ahead and read this problem. Grab the eraser. All right, this looks like a great time to do process of elimination. So let's, as we read the problem, try and eliminate. So we have a laundry service is buying detergent and fabric softener from its supplier. The supplier will deliver no more than 300 pounds in a shipment. All right, let's check that out. No more than 300 is less than or equal to 300. 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 No eliminating yet. Hold on, Anne. You'll already see. Okay, let's keep going. Each container of detergent weighs 7.35 pounds. All right, so 7.35 goes with our D. And each container of fabric softener weighs 6.2 pounds. So 6.2 goes with our S. All right, let's check this out, Han. We have 7.35D and 6.2S. This is a good one. Same thing here. These are not good. They somehow double the amount. That's not going to make sense in the problem. Can you erase C and D? And we'll eliminate those. And let's keep reading as she eliminates. All right, next one. The service wants to buy at least twice as many containers of detergent as containers of fabric softener. Oh, that is very tricky. Okay, if you read it and listen to the way it sounds, twice as many detergents as fabric softeners, you would be very tempted to pick this one. But let's make sure we're thinking about this logically. Twice as many detergents compared to fabric softeners would mean if I had, say, five softeners, I should have 10 or more, det more detergents. If I had, I don't know, 20 softeners, I should have 40 or more detergents. Which equation does that work in? Well, let's see. If I put a 5 here, this is definitely going to be 10. If I put a 20 here, this is going to be 40. This is the one that works. If I put a 5 here, it's not going to make sense to turn this into a 20 automatically. That's not going to make it true every time. So the answer is actually A. And I'm guessing if you got that wrong, you may have fallen for choice B, which Hannah is going to eliminate for us now. But again, process of elimination, a great way to do this. Now let's finish reading the problem just in case, because if we missed anything, we don't want to miss it. We don't want to select our answer before we're sure. All right, so we have uh, let D represent the number of containers of detergent. Did that. Let S represent fabric softeners. Did that. D and S are non-negative. No problem. Which of the following systems of inequalities best represents this situation? Definitely the one we picked. Um, important to reread the problem because they could have tried to trick us and put some kind of word like... The service wants to buy at least twice as many, but that didn't happen. And we would have to look for like a reversal on our inequality sign. So we just want to be careful and always reread and make sure we selected the right answer. Nice job. See you for the next one.